What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing all of my favorite products with you. These are things that I've been loving all month long, even through the month of September as well, because I didn't do a September favorites. I wasn't actually going to film this. I honestly forgot. And then one of you guys requested it. So I was like, let me do it because I'm loving 5 million things. I hope you guys like this. Please subscribe and let's get started. So the number one thing that I have to talk about that has kind of changed my life, like literally, is the Symbiotica Topical Magnesium Oil. I know this is such a random thing, but this is something that you spray all over your body. You're supposed to do it twice a day. I actually have just like only done it right before bed. It smells like lavender. <sighs> this absorbs straight up into your system and it just helps me sleep. Oh my gosh. The difference when I use this is like night and day. It's good for you. I've heard like, what is it? Like 90% of us or something are deficient in magnesium or something crazy like that. Don't quote me. I don't know. But, um, I listen to, I always listen to the skinny confidential him and her show on Apple podcasts. And Lauren and Michael Bostick have interviewed the owner or like founder of Symbiotica a few times. And every time I listen to him talk, I'm just so sucked in. I'm so captivated. And finally I decided to try this out. I also tried the prebiotic probiotic. Um, I just haven't been consistent with it because I'm horrible at taking pills, uh, big ones specifically. So I haven't been as consistent with that. So I can't really speak on that and notice much of a difference because I haven't been very regular with taking it. But this, whew, I noticed a difference the first night I used it. And every time I use it now, which it's pretty religious now, I use it pretty much every night. Um, I just knock out, I sleep so soundly, I don't wake up in the middle of the night. It's just, it's awesome and it smells amazing and now I'm associating the smell of lavender with going to sleep. Um, I'm getting sleepy even thinking about it. It's just like, it's amazing. So I highly recommend this and even more so than this itself, I recommend checking out those podcast episodes. I believe there's three, all you have to do is Google them. Um, it's on the Skinny Confidential, him and her show, and it's the owner of uh, Symbiotica. So definitely check that out. Look into the magnesium oil. It has just like changed my life because it helps me sleep. So then my day is just better. My night is better. And I'm just overall a just happier person. So <laughs> literally changed my life. My second favorite of the month, and I really did rank those. The rest will be out of order, like no ranking, but I had to share like my top two things that like really made a difference this month. So it's the oil. And then the second thing is my gua sha tool. This, mm, this really changes the way that my face looks. I feel it's part of like the lymphatic system and like draining that out. I'm not a professional by any means. I don't, this is the first I've ever really like actually tried it. And it really does help my face to just kind of like get the puffiness away. I've been pretty consistent. I use it three times a week minimum. Sometimes I use it every day. And I just feel like, especially in this whole area, this like jaw and here, this is where I get really puffy, like up in here, throughout this whole cheek area. It really helps me and just makes me feel a little bit more confident to start the day and when I do my makeup. Um, I keep it upstairs in my bathroom, but sometimes I'll forget when I do my skincare. So I'll come in here and do my primer and then use this too. Um, it's just really great. I feel like it makes such a difference. And um, yeah, I've just really been loving it. If you're interested in it, check out some how-to videos on YouTube from some professionals. They really help to walk me through it step-by-step step and figure it out and learn and um, understand the technique and everything. So if you're into this and you wanna learn more, just check out those videos. Next up, you guys have heard me rave about these lately. These are the Merit lip oils. I've got Bel Air and Taupe. These are amazing. I love the way that these just sit on my lips. They look so glossy. They're not sticky. Um, I love the colors. I love the clear one and mixing this on top of my lip liners. I have got a hair stuck somewhere. It's like stuck in my sleeve and it, there it is. It's been tickling me. Um, Anyways, I just keep both of these in my purse. It's great for touch-ups. It's great like, okay, so like right now I have on a matte lip. This will wear off eventually and the perfect topper for later on when this wears off is instead of going in with another matte lip color, I'll go in with a gloss and it kind of just like mends with my lip color and just makes it better. It's 
it's awesome and I love them on them on their own as well like not as a touch-up product just like as my initial product too but I've just been obsessed with these I am not really someone that really loves glossy products so these have changed the game for me in that area and I really need to order more colors so um, I'll link these down below along with everything else and then another lip product that's kind of in a similar vibe but totally different is the Clinique Black Honey lip balm <laughs> lip balm why can't i talk lately i don't know what my deal is i have been having a hard time <laughs> articulating in videos i mm, i do not know what my problem is the black honey lip balm or lipstick i don't know exactly what it lipstick i guess it is um from clinique this is the little baby size i wasn't sure if i was gonna like the full size i have a feeling i'll eventually run out of this and get the full size this reminds me of like the Dior Lip Glow or a NARS Orgasm Lip Balm kind of vibe where it's just sheer and just gives like the most beautiful berry kiss to your lips. I've used this constantly. This is another product that just sits in my purse. I'm actually setting all of these aside because I'm about to go put these back in my bag. Um, I just love it. It's such a beautiful color. It's perfect for this time of year. It's so beautiful. And again, that's something that I can use on its own without any lip liner, or I can use it on top of lip liner. And I can also use this as a great touch up product. So those three lip products have just been my jam and I've been loving them. And speaking of just like makeup in general, another favorite, I know this is kind of like random as a whole, but is my makeup look that I have on right now. I did this makeup maybe a month and a half ago ish maybe like like the beginning of september where i did the really blank naked lower lower lash line in the thick wing on top and just kept it very minimal underneath and simple and that was the first time i had ever tried that i've never really done like a naked lower lash line and ever since i have been wearing this look to death i don't think i've ever like Reworn a makeup look so fast in such a short amount of time But this is just a go-to look for me now where if I want to look glam and I want to look put together But I don't really want to think about it. I can just do it I was gonna say that it's like quick and easy. It's really not the eyeliner takes me quite a while to do But I just been loving it. I love how glam I feel with it I love that I can change out the lip to whatever and I love that it looks good with literally whatever I'm wearing so yeah, I, I'll link this makeup look down below if you haven't checked it out. I do have a tutorial on it and literally every single thing that I used in that video, I've got on my face right now. Speaking of eyeliner, the two that I've been using lately are the L'Oreal Flash Cat Eyeliner and the Rare Beauty Eyeliner. I've been kind of just switching between these two. I also want to try out the Sigma Wicked Eyeliner. I'll be getting that soon to try out, but um, I really love these and I recommend them and I had to include these because I've been wearing this look so much and using these products a lot more than I usually do because I don't normally do winged liner looks. So. Yeah, a rediscovered favorite product is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Powder, like the face powder. I love this. This is great for touch-ups. I think I did this in my other video too. It's just great to just touch up my oil. It's great to finish off my makeup look with. Um, it's something that I, th I think the reason why I did it in my last video too, it's like, I feel like you can't really get too crazy cakey with this. I feel like it just gives a nice soft finish and a beautiful just overall look to the skin. So I've been really loving this. I have this in the shade uh, two or medium. And then I also have the light one, which is really great for my under eyes, but I really don't grab that that often. I usually just grab this. So I used this recently and now I've just been using it nonstop. And then I think this is my last makeup product. This is the Merit Brow Gel. This is in the color brown. I freaking love this. I feel like the spoolie on this is just so perfect. It's kind of like thicker, but small at the same time. So I feel like I can get in my brow just perfectly and make it look really full and fluffy. I think it's like it helps it to grow or condition or something. I, I just love this. It's my new go-to brow gel. And it doesn't like cake up. Sometimes when I build up my brow gel, it gets like thick and like pomade-y and weird and whatever. So I've just been really liking that. And I think it looks really, really natural. Okay, these products you probably haven't seen me talk about at all, but they have been such go-tos for me for the last two 
months, two solid months. So the last time I went and got my hair done, I don't know what happened. I think that I just have like buildup on my hair or if like a toner got mixed up, I don't know but the blonde in my hair got really dull and that never happens. It's only happened one other time and it was because of toner. So something must have happened. Um, I had to go back and get um, darker extensions put in with this just to kind of mix together. And honestly, on camera, you're not going to be able to tell. <laughs> and on top of that right now, it looks so much different than it did. But basically it was like you could see where my extensions started and where my hair stopped, which is so unusual. And it's weird because when I left in the lighting, like when you're outside in sunlight, everything looks good. Everything looks beautiful. But then when I got like in my house, it was like, wait a minute, I can like really see a difference. I just waited it out just to see like what it was going to do. And it was still really like dull from what it normally was. So I don't know. I talked with my hairstylist and she recommended this system. Um, and it really made a huge difference in my hair. So this is the Redken blondage high bright shampoo and the conditioner and the treatment. So what you do, I guess I should show you what it looks like. Looks like this. <laughs> so this is the treatment. And what you do is you get your hair damp, spray this all over your hair and wait for like five, 10 minutes for that to get in there. And then you go in with the shampoo and then you go in with the conditioner. It really helps to brighten up my hair. I notice such a difference when I use this. And honestly, that's what I've really been using the last two months just to help brighten my hair back up. And now I feel like it looks great. I feel like it looks back to normal. I can see some pieces that are a little bit darker than normal, but all in all, I think it looks a lot better. It looks like back to normal. Um, and that really saved my hair. So if you are a blonde or especially like if you've been blonde for a while and you feel like you just are lacking that like that brightness that blondness can give, check this out because a lot of times it can just be like the buildup and whatever. Um, my hairstylist also recommended, what is it? It's like a Malibu treatment. Um, I didn't end up using that, but I, because I felt like this was enough. Um, but yeah, kind of like a weird situation. I don't know what happened, but I think it looks fine now, especially once she mixed in my older extensions just to kind of like warm it up. But I'm actually due for a highlight because it's been a minute since I've had it highlighted now. So yeah, just wanted to share that because that has like really changed my hair and made a really huge difference. Okay, so that's everything for makeup and beauty and that whole category. Now I've got four things in the clothing and fashion area. So first up, I have my Uggs. I actually have two pairs of Uggs. I got these ones here, which are the regular height ones, and then they're short here. And I got them in the like... I think it's called the chestnut color or something like that. Um, I was undecided on whether I wanted these ones or the platform ones. You guys voted on Instagram and said that you thought that the platform ones were ugly. I got them anyways. <laughs> so I got the higher ones and the platform ones because I've heard that the lower ones and the platform ones are actually kind of dangerous. Um, I mean, whatever. I'm not like doing anything crazy, but these ones are really cute. They have the zipper on the front and then they have this little red tab in the back. I honestly feel like they're very different. I know if you're thinking of putting an outfit together, you're gonna, I think that both of these would work for each of the outfits, but I actually use them for like different things. And I've been using both of them a lot. I was like, is this a little excessive? Um, yes, yes it is to get two of very similar Uggs, but I've been wearing the crap out of them. I think they're so cute. These ones are definitely a lot more trendy. They're not gonna be everybody's style. They're not gonna be everybody's taste. I bet you though in a year you're gonna be liking these. That's how I was with like the dad shoe vibe, like the new balances. I thought they were so ugly for so long and now that like, I don't know, I feel like some of that style is like going out of style and I'm like, oh, I kind of like that, that like oversized dad shoe kind of thing. But yeah, I think these ones I wear more often. They're easier to just like go with different outfits where these you have to commit to like the platform style. But if you're short like me, these give you a little height. So I really like those too. So um, I wanted to share those. I'll be doing a fall try on haul pretty soon or like a fall winter try on haul because I cannot believe that we're like at the cusp of winter. Um, but I'm going to show you both of them on in that video so you can see them. So if you're on the fence between the two or whatever, then you can see them on and get a good idea. But I had to share them because I really have been loving them and I don't regret either pair. 
and I, I really do wear them both. Okay, and then next I have my Lululemon scuba sweatshirt. This one is the green one, um, cause this is the one that was clean, but I have this in kind of like a maroon burgundy color. And then I also have it in a black, and the maroon and the black one both are a half zip, where this one is a full zip. Um, and this one also has a hood. In general, all I'm referring to is like the scuba style from Lululemon. I think that it is so flattering on. It's so cozy. I feel really comfortable in it. I wear it out and about. I wear it to the gym. I wear it around the house. I just love it. Um, I feel like it's really great quality. It's thick, but it's not too hot either. It's just perfect. And I like that it looks very like clean and chic at the same time while you're also cozy. So I've really been loving those and I've been wearing all of them nonstop. And then lastly is this, it's technically a sweatshirt, but it can work as a jacket. Um, it's this like Sherpa jacket sweatshirt from Abercrombie. I got it in a size medium. This is what I wore in my Christmas decor shopping video at Pottery Barn and Crate and Barrel. It was so cozy. I was actually a little warm in it because that day got to like 70 degrees outside. So I was pretty toasty, but it's so flattering. The bottom of it kind of goes in like this sort of shape. So it's so flattering. It covers my butt and just kind of lifts my leg because of that. It's really nice. And there's a pocket that actually connects to the other side. So it's kind of like a front pocket with the pockets themselves are on the sides. I just love that. I think it's perfect for this time of year. I think that that can carry me through the winter months as well because it is so cozy. You can wear it as a sweatshirt. If it's extra, extra cold, like under zero degrees or something, you could wear this as a sweatshirt and put on like a coat on top of it. And then the other thing I forgot to mention on the inside, it looks like this. It's kind of like a I don't want to say it's almost like a faux suede on the inside, which is so nice, especially for like a Sherpa sweatshirt like that, because I have another Sherpa style sweatshirt and it's so uncomfortable on the inside because hairs get stuck through it, like pretzels hairs, my hairs, and they poke me through my sweatshirt. So I always have to wear an undershirt under that kind of stuff where this one, I don't have to do that because of the lining. I definitely see myself wearing this for months and months and months to come. That completes everything for this month's favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I've been loving. Please let me know down below what you've been loving. I'd love to know, um, especially because right now the Sephora sale is still, <laughs> What is up with me talking lately? Especially because the Sephora sale is still going on. Um, let me know your makeup, makeup recommendations. <laughs> I cannot. <sighs> I need to get it together because I'm about to go film another video. I'm gonna go Christmas decor shopping with Amanda and we're filming it and I need to get my shit together. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out and thank you so much for all of the love on this month's videos. I have really been just stepping out of my comfort zone, doing the vlogs and just switching it up and keeping like, like how I just messed up on how I, how I was talking. Normally I would edit that out because like it's just easier to just do, 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 delete that didn't happen. And I'm trying to just leave that in more and just not care as much. It's not that I think that it's, I've gotten comments about just like being more real and it's not that I'm not trying to be real. It's just, I don't know. Like I'm just trying to create good content and to me that's not good content, but like, I don't know. Anyways, all of that to say, I've been so much more out of my head and just creating stuff that I want and just like trying not to care so much. And I just wanna thank you guys for pushing me there and for giving me such good feedback. I'm so glad that you guys are loving my videos. I'm so glad you've been enjoying my vlogs. And it's really just opened up my creativity because it's made me more excited about makeup, but also more excited about other content as well. It's like, I feel like I'm getting this really nice balance and it just feels really good. I feel like everything's just like working really well. I'm just in a really good place and I just wanna say thank you and I appreciate you. Thank you for subscribing, watching my videos and just for all of your great feedback. It really means a lot. So. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you guys want to see down below in the comments. Please subscribe and I will see you soon.